There are many species of edible and medicinal mushrooms that live in logs and digest their carbon for their food source. These are just random local mushrooms and cottonwood logs around this planter. But I've got six species of different mushrooms and a variety of logs I'm going to inoculate. You need a drill with a 7 16th drill bit and here I've used duct tape to create a collar to set my depth at an inch and a quarter and the process is a matter of drilling holes about every four inches or so in about four or five different lines around a log this size and so I bore all the holes and then label the ends the species that's going into this log shiitake in this case and then I take a rubber mallet and tap these plugs in if you want to do this faster, there are specialized tools that you can use. For example, there is an adapted bit that you can put on an angle grinder to knock the holes out quicker. And you can get an injection tool that will inject either a grain spawn or sawdust spawn into these holes in the logs. So if you're doing this at scale, it's a good idea to gear up. But I plan on doing you know, a few every year as I learn which species likes which kind of wood. The step with the beeswax is optional in a humid climate, but my dry climate it really pays to seal off the ends of every dowel and also the ends of the log to help retain moisture in the wood for as long as possible while the mycelium populate the log. So with these dipped I can move on to my next species, which will be oyster. These mushroom species that I'm growing have a variety of beneficial health action. I've linked in the description of this video uh, several articles that go into the minutia of what effects have been demonstrated from the compounds present in these mushrooms. The lion's mane, for example, is excellent for brain and nervous system health and has been shown to improve cognitive function in Alzheimer's patients. Uh, I believe Paul Stamets is also working on a protocol of using this mushroom in combination with psilocybin mushrooms to actually reverse memory loss and cognitive impairment due to Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. The uh, turkey tail has been demonstrated to be very powerful against cancer. The reishi is a long-held Chinese uh, medicine mushroom and it, though not a choice edible made into a tea uh, can have tremendous health benefits as well. So from all these various species you can receive not only the neurological improvement, uh, immune boost, gut health improvement, uh, battling heart disease, diabetes, a whole host of things. So I encourage you to go look at some of those articles. They're all uh, sourced with the papers associated with the claims, so you can check that out for yourself. But for me to be able to take a resource like we have in the woodlots around the house and by inoculating them with these mushroom species, I can then have something that's going to produce for years and years and years that's a, a fabulous resource not only from a culinary perspective but also from a medicinal perspective and so i've trialed different species of mushrooms with different species of wood to uh, see what likes what in this environment and try to develop a management strategy where i can grow these mushrooms that often are tropical or certainly uh, native to much more humid areas and try to manage them in such a way in the high desert that I can get a reliable yield a couple times a year off of each log. So I will keep you updated with what happens and how they get grown. The shiitake, pearl oyster, blue oyster, reishi, lion's mane, and turkey tail are all into these logs. And I had a few leftover plugs and some log ends that I thought I'd just fill the ends with the spawn and see what happens with those and then I found a place underneath the lilac bushes that I could let these logs incubate and this is an area where I can bring the sprinkler over about once a week and rehydrate these logs but they'll stay shady and cool in here and then 
In the fall, I'll move them to their eventual location. Subscribe if you want to see how this goes.